praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome again to our Monday 15 minutes podcast. I want to welcome you to a new year, a prosperous new one. And uh, I pray that God will make it a beautiful year for you all in Jesus name. So thank you for being a part of our audience again this year 2024. I want to start us on a new series this season which I call there is a gold mine inside you. Remember 2023 we dealt extensively on the subject of investment how to make a fortune and uh, this is actually a follow-up on the subject of investment how to make a fortune and um, I know you remember that we took our text from Matthew 25 uh, I will read verses 14 and 16 to you and then I will read other Bible text that we're going to be using for this series of teaching and do you know what this series of teaching is very very important as a matter of fact it's actually more important than investment how to make a fortune and I'll tell you the reason why you see when you talk about investment you actually talk 99% of the time about money and the Bible also did that in that Matthew 25 but if you look at that Matthew 25 you discover that money and talent are used alternatively and that's exactly what I want to build on it is not confusion it is actually a revelation that yes when you talk about investment we talk about money but do you know what talent is bigger than money and talent is more accessible than money so that's going to be a background and that is the reason why you should stay with this series because listen to me this series will expose you to something that you are not aware of and the good thing about this series is this investment can double your income but do you know what your talent can multiply you and that is only what i wanted to see if you look at matthew 25 verses 14 to 16 said for the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country who called his own servants and deliver unto them his goods his goods his goods not their goods his goods his goods and unto one he gave five talents now look at that word now look at the word look at look at look at the use of words in the in, in the in that verse the Bible says, and deliver unto them his goods. Whose goods? The investor's goods. The investor's goods. But the Bible says, and unto one, he gave five talents. Five talents. Now, five talents can be his goods. Five talents can be his goods. Five talents should be the goods of the people that he's investing into. But like I said, there's no confusion here. God is just giving us the two things we need to know. But most of the time, we teach only about money. And you see, it's a big mistake. It's a big mistake. And unto one, he gave five talents. To another two, and to another one. To every man according to his several ability. Did you say that again? Not to the man who is traveling and he's giving, he's giving them money to invest. He's investing money into them. But the Bible said that to every man, to the people that he was investing into, according to his several ability. So this several ability is their talent. But in this case, the talent in this several ability could be, yes, is their talent. Or how much they have developed their ability. And straight away took his journey. Then he that had received five talents, has received the five talents went and traded with the same and made other five talents did you see that you don't trade with talent you're supposed to trade with money 
Now, I've never seen anybody who went to the stock market and he said, I want to, I want to, I want to trade with my talent. And then he said, I'm a footballer. I want to trade with my talent as a footballer. Or you are an event planner. And you said you want to trade with your talent as an event planner. You don't take talent to stock market. You take money to stock market. So he traded with the same. He traded with the same. Now, you see, if you look at that verse, if you look at that chapter 25 again, you will discover that the three servants do not have money. The only person who have money there is the boss. But do you know what? The three, uh, what's it called? The three servants have talents. Now, you see, that's the huge difference between money and talent. Between money and talent. Money is limited, but talent is not limited. As a matter of fact, there's no one single person on this earth that does not have talent. I'm going to be proving that and I'm going to be showing it to you. So you see, talent is bigger than money. And what to do with your talent is what I want to teach in this series. So, you might say, Reverend David, I enjoy your series on investment, how to make fortune. But I don't have access to money. But do you know what? You have access to talent. You have access to talent. The first proof of that is that there were three servants and the three of them has talents. The three of them has talents. One has five, one has two, one has one. There was one of them that has zero. So there's no one single human being on the surface of this earth that is without talent. But there are many people on this earth that are without money. So, so this series give it a hedge over investment, how to make a fortune. How to make a fortune so if you are poor because you don't have money the problem is that you're actually rich because you have talent and that's what i want to discuss in this series and that's why you must stick with us and that's why i titled it there is a gold mine inside you there's a gold mine so like i said in that matthew 25 we have seen that the only person there are four characters three servants and the boss the only character that has money is their boss so you see it's like that in life it's like a ratio three to one so so when we discuss when we discuss on investment how to make money it favors one percent sorry it favors 25 percent and 75 percent might not be favored that is 25% have access to money, but 75% does not have money. So, so investment, how to make money, actually favor 25%. But do you know what? Talent favors 100%. Talent favors 100%. So in that passage, the only person, the only person who has money is the boss. Then the other people, what they have is talents. But do you know what? Their talents produce double and that's what i want to show you even when you think you don't have access to money but do you know what you have access to talent you have access to talent and that's what i'm going to be and that's what i'm going to be proving in this in this place so the best investment are not cash investment the best investment are not cash investment no the best investment are treasure investment the best investment are treasure investment and you can see that in matthew 13 44 to 46 that will take us away from matthew 25. hear what he said he said heaven's kingdom heaven's kingdom realm i'm reading from the passion translation i will still read from english uh, from kj to, to from the the passion translation heaven's kingdom realm can be illustrated like this a person discovered that there was hidden treasure in a field upon finding it he hid it again because of uncovering such treasure he was overjoyed and sold all that he possessed to buy the entire field just so he could have the treasure heaven's kingdom realm is also like a jewel merchant in search of rare peers when he discovered one very 
precious and exquisite pearl. He immediately gave up on all he had in exchange for it. That is the passion translation. The passion translation. You see, from what we saw in Matthew 25, the Lord showed us that investment can give you double. But treasure, but when you go out for treasure, treasure and more a more profiting business than investment. That's I say, heaven, kingdom, realm is also like a jewel mashat. A jewel mashat. In search of rare pearls. When he discovered one very precious and exquisite pearl, he immediately gave up all he had in exchange for it. Did he see that? So it's not investing money but putting it in the bank. Like we saw in that Matthew 25 where the master said, you should have given my money to the money exchangers or to the bankers. And when I come back, I will have received mine with usury or profit. But what this jewel merchant that we saw in Matthew 13, 46 does is that he search for rare pairs. And when he discovered one very precious and exquisite pair, he immediately gave up all he had in exchange for it. In exchange for it. So most times, you can make more than double what you bought them. And they don't, they don't depreciate, rather they appreciate. Most rich women convert their money to precious jewel, not just to wear them for parties. But that is the secret with many rich women. You can see them, they can buy a necklace for one million dollars and they wear it to party and you see them and they say ah what a waste how can a person buy one million dollar jewel just to put on his neck no you you, you didn't get it right <laughs> you didn't get it right it's not wearing it to the to the what's it called to the to the party that's our goal her goal is that she's an investor is investing into PRs. You can see the Bible says heaven's kingdom realm is also like a jewel merchant in search of rare pearls. When he discovered one very precious and exquisite pear, he immediately gave up on all he had in exchange for it. Now, such people do that because they know that they can always exchange it for money when it appreciates. But guess what? I just ran out of time right now. But do you know what? I will see you again in our Wednesday podcast when I will continue exactly from this place from this point for me i want to tell you that jesus christ is lord i will see you in our wednesday podcast